Right, so I'm just going to show you how you can use RoboShadow Cyber Heal functionality to clear up a riddled desktop in a fairly quick time, or hopefully in a fairly quick time. So this machine, all this has had is the agent installed, uh, download and install the agent, and then you take in the organization ID as part of the install, and that's shown these vulnerabilities as you can see here. So I'm just going to motor through and see if I can do most of this via updates. So you wanna try and get away with doing it via updates if you can, because that way it's less impact to the user. So let's update that one, same again. Wing it. You will get messages of install. Sometimes it doesn't work straight away. We do have a dependencies on Winget, uh, but the system will try and retry it if it doesn't get any joy. Uh, here, let's try and update this one. So this is Adobe Reader. Now there isn't Adobe Reader in uh, Winget itself. You can, however, bring your own software. You can add your own XEIMSI files. And you can see here Foxit Reader is available. So that's a nice free version option available. But as we know, there's quite a few in this day and age, Office 365 and Windows 10 is pretty good as its own built in PDF. Uh, writing and reading capabilities. Um, so I think we can just go ahead and remove that. So let's ungroup that. It's found a grouping, so it will group that automatically. Let's go ahead and remove that as well. So that will send that job. Putty, I think that hopefully should be a fairly easy one. Let's get that updated here. And then Evernote, uh, again, let's see if we can get that updated, Evernote there and then we'll kick that off as well. So I did notice that when we went through, you can see a couple of the failures, they will end up retrying, so we just thought it was good. You can turn that down as well if you don't wanna see all of that messaging, but sometimes it's good to see its progress. So here, if we look in the dashboard, we've also got a uh, ransomware protection not enabled and firewall. So if we go into the cyber hill area, first of all, what I'll do is I'll just make those changes to the firewall quickly and the uh, ransomware protection. I may have actually done that a bit quick. Uh, there we go, let's just update that. Let's get that enabled. And here, just while we're here anyway, you can see what commands have run or where the command's in for running. We are very soon gonna open it up so you can fire your own commands. We're just working out the best way of securing that. So that is coming very, very soon. Um, so that's the Cyber Hill area. Let's just go back to the dashboard and see what's been cleaned up already. Ah, so we've just got it down to Notepad uh, plus plus, which I think we did send a job for that. I may it may have been wrong, uh, but Evernote I know here. Um, has a problem where for some reason this is not updating. You keep sending that job, but it won't update. That is like more of a Winget issue than a RoboShadow issue. So what we can do here, I know this because of uh, I've obviously done this before. Let's just remove that completely. Let's get Evernote removed. Um, I'll just do a Control F5 and just update and see where we're at. See if the Notepad Notepad Plus Plus has been fixed. Let's have a look at that quickly. I didn't want to do the video thing where you stop um, um, and keep restarting the video. I wanted to just play this continuously so you can see it's a fairly quick exercise. I may have actually missed that one. Apologies if I did. Uh, so let's scroll down there, uh, Notepad++. Let's get that updated. Fantastic, that will go ahead and update. So what I do know is because we've removed Evernote, I need to put that back in because the user will come back to the machine and will probably want to use it and then think, where has my Evernote gone? So I'll go, so fair enough, Winget couldn't uninstall it, but if we just remove it as we've done now, uh, and then we can install a brand new fresh version, what that will do effectively is the next time the user goes to run Evernote, then it will just allow them to log in as usual. And if we have a little look here. So all the vulnerabilities are gone, completely clear vulnerabilities. And as you can see, we have no issues with ransomware protection and firewall. And that is effectively in a real time capacity, how you can clear up a machine. Um, but it is really important for everyone to know, although I did that for a single machine, just for demo and test purposes, you are actually gonna be able to do that completely across the board. So if there was 50 machines or 500 machines, you'll be able to send all the jobs at the same time. So that's how effective you can clear up an estate, not just an individual machine. So hopefully that should give a good quick demo for everyone. Thank you ever so much for watching.